Former NEA President Mary Hathwood Futrell was a pioneering force in expanding the academic horizons of girls, identifying the almost purposeful steering away from math and the sciences Futrell worked to rewrite the template for what young women should aspire to, as does this year's Futrell Award recipient, Dr. Mia Williams. As principal of Seattle's 206, sorry, that's where I'm from. <laughs> now I have to say it all over again. As principal of Seattle's Aki Karosi Middle School, Williams is committed to bridging academic gaps between girls and boys and students of color. Always mindful that intellectual excellence should be gender neutral and color blind. Let's review Dr. Williams' bias-free lesson plan. I'm the proud principal here at Aki Kurosi Middle School, and my goal is to try to get to know each and every student for who they are and what they need. But that's by being in the hallways and being present and um, engaging and talking to students. I think that's the most important part of my job. Our babies need champions, and that's why I love having community partnerships and having more adults around to see their goodness. And I think a lot of times we forget that. We, people see their behavior instead of seeing their goodness. One of the reasons why that's really important for these young girls to have our mentoring programs here. Credible messengers matter, and so people that look like you hear you hear those things. But these women are giving them some lessons that are really important. So today was our inaugural eighth grade girls book club, and we set our goals that we're going to read the first two chapters, so I'm excited to hear their viewpoints and um, listen in. I'm a part of the Association of Washington School Principals Board for middle level principals and we have to work together. Ninth grade algebra for kids of color is pretty low in success rate and what we are coming together is, is how to figure that out because our kids are brilliant and so we look at it as an adult issue. So we're sharing practices so we all get better. She sees the best in everyone. She wants the best for everyone. Her motto is, we do what's best for kids. And that is always instilled in every single piece of work that she does. I have single-handedly seen a young person show up one way that just was not in alignment with expectations and her have a conversation with them and they turn it around that day. I don't know what that magic that she does, you know, kind of with them, but it is this magic of just high expectations but love and that they know that when they need love and connection that she'll stop and that she's there. For me, having someone who I look up to have this expectation and the support of being resilient, I knew that I had to because I know there's people who I look up to who are watching me and wanting me to be great because one day I will be in a spot to be the next Dr. Williams. to present the 2019 Mary Hatwood Futrell Award to Dr. Mia Williams. Good evening. Um, I am so delighted and humbled to be among all of you amazing individuals here tonight. And Ms. Hatwood Futrell, I just want to say thank you for paving the way and being an inspiration for a young black girl from Houston, Texas right here today. <laughs> every day it is a privilege to get to wake up every day doing everything that I possibly can with a team of wonderful teachers, paraeducators, families, to really do what's best for each and every student because they each deserve it. And for these young women who get to see their greatness, 
We need to be doing our work every single day. That's what we need to all do. So what the last thing I want to say is I want you to high five your neighbor and tell them to remember to encourage, elevate, and engage each and every one of my young people and all those young black girls that look like me. Thank you.